Hi and welcome back to A Boat Called Wonder. So uh, I've kept the momentum up and I've come down for the second week in a row. I uh, drove down late last night, uh, slept over and I've just got today and then I have to head back. Um, but there's just a few small jobs that I need to do today to keep things moving along and also a couple of measurements I need to take uh, for ordering up things like stern glands and um, a, a special Whitworth nut for the end of the rudder stock so that we can get the rudder assembled next time I'm down. Um, something we've not done for quite a while is open up the treasure box and see what's in here. So, uh, some exciting products to have a look at. Let's get started. Right, well let's start off simple. Right, so first up, these are very high quality stainless steel bolts I've got to mount the rudder uh, gudgeon on. Good. Now this one, it's going to be very hard to open and I don't think it really is that fragile, but anyway, I spent such a long time trying to find a Delrin spacer and um, two nylon bushes for the rudder stock and um, I was getting absolutely ridiculous prices like £250 just for the two nylon spacers and £250 for the Delrin washer. So I've just ordered the material myself. So this is a piece of nylon that I'm going to use for the nylon spacer and I'm just going to basically take it into uh, local manufacturers and see if they'll um, turn it into a sleeve for me. And then this is two pieces of acetyl or acetyl, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, um, which is basically what Delrin is. Delrin is a subclass of this uh, acetyl material and Delrin is actually the uh, the product name. I couldn't get Delrin for the right thickness which is four millimeters. I could only get it in large sheets. But this other product which is 15% less hard and 15% less stable than the Delrin which is another type of acetyl. Um, this came in four millimeter slices so my idea is to um, just using the whole saw cut out the washer from this this myself because um, this material should be good enough and it's four millimeters which is the right thickness but then there are some other more exciting goodies now this is a Grocco through hull installer ah more packaging now you might remember I had one of these before and I actually broke it because I used too much force to try and get the jammed through hull out which had um, bonded itself with thickened epoxy to the uh, backing flange so these are such a great thing to have I had to replace it now we get to the exciting things what have we got here this is the backbone of a N NMEA 2000 uh, network and the reason I've got this is because, uh, again, this is rather exciting because it's the first purchase for my electronics of putting the boat back together and electronics are definitely my favorite part of the project. Um, so I've got a air speed wind package. This is the transducer for depth, speed, temperature blanking plug um, and then I also ordered this second one for the second uh, transducer hole up the front there and this is bronze it looks like the mast cable Ooh. Um, power line perhaps now we're getting exciting look at this this is the um, the monitor or the uh, instrument readout and then this last one I guess is the actual um, wind speed detector transducer yeah Ooh. now as exciting as it is I think I'm just going to have to leave this alone uh, for another day otherwise I'm going to get distracted
just a small job here. You might remember last week I showed you that this transducer housing is basically a little bit of a, a pipe that came down that's got some rubber around it. And the bottom uh, lip of this pipe was quite um, broken and chipped and uneven. So what I'm going to do now is get the transducer housing, um, grease it up with some beeswax, put it up here and then put some thickened epoxy in to create a flat platform for the transducer to sit flush into to get a really good nice watertight seal because um, previously the, the bottom of the hull is like this, it's like a V shape and then the transducer is flat here so there was just a really thick layer of silicon either side so rather than just doing that again I want to kind of build up a little bit of a platform of thickened epoxy so it goes in that way. Okay so I'm going to have to work quickly. I'll go and grease that up and bring it back and We'll do that next. Okay, let's do this. So I think I'll start from the back end. There's quite a void to fill here. Well, I hope I've got enough wax on this. Otherwise, it's going to be an experiment, expensive experiment. Well, I just go up on the inside and um, put the backing nut on so it doesn't drop down. Right, I think that's about as good as I'll get it. And the more I play with it, the worse it's going to get. So, Okay, so there it is. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to get done in one go. Often with these things, you know, you put a base layer on and then you need to keep on adding to it because you can't do it all in one go. But yeah, let's see. The main thing is it comes out and it's not stuck in there. And hopefully there's enough beeswax on it for that to happen. Right, time to start making more holes in my boat. Now this used to be a very small uh, water at salt water inlet for the water maker. I'm going to drill this out to a bigger size and put a larger intake in for the engine raw water intake. Um, so I just want to mark a position so from the other side I can get a hole saw. So I'm just going to use this to make a pilot hole a little bit awkward okay so I've um, just got this guide here for my drill yeah probably this way is better hot glue gun Oh, it's not sticking. Right, let's see if this will move. Ah. Right, well, after applying a bit of heat and uh, bashing it with a hammer, this is finally starting to move. It's just really awkward to get something around it and I'm just going to reuse all of this. I can't afford to like dig this out of the boat. Okay well I don't want to take this out because this is all embedded down so I'm going to have to leave this here but hopefully just clean this up for the stuffing box. Okay so that's the end of my very quick um, day trip down to see Wanda. Um, a few little bits and pieces done but again uh, making good progress to get towards getting the rudder um, reassembled and fitted for good and then that's just about the end of um, work for beneath the waterline. 
So let's just have a little bit of a recap. Um, first of all, what you didn't see is I found a local um, uh, fabricator in the area and I took down that nylon rod and um, the bush and I got a quote for two of those to be made up for 60 pounds uh, plus fat, which is great because when I uh, ordered online, um, I got two different quotes and they're both about 240 pounds plus you know, delivery and fat. So just around the corner, this local guy, 60 pounds. So job done for two, that, that's absolutely perfect. Um, and then I made the spaces up. Now, initially I thought I really needed to have four mils, but um, I just ended up yeah, making two out of this, which is three mils, and it's actually perfect. It's the exact right size. So it's all worked out in the end, but there it is. Um, the bottom gudgeon or pintle, can't remember. That goes there. This goes here. And off we go. That's it. I don't know if you can see here, but I can see there's a, a line here um, where it was before. And it's, it's pretty much bang on the even, so it must have been three mils before. So there's my spacer. And I made up a spare one just in case, so I've got two there. Um, also, just to recap, I've got all of the through holes in now. And then up the front, I've got this um, fitted now. I had to get the larger bolts for that. This is the transducer. There's the other transducer uh, housing. I drilled the last of the holes for this um, through hole for the raw water intake. So that's just sitting there so that we can mark out where it is. So thanks for sticking with me following the program. Um, I'll see you again in probably about two weeks. I can go and collect those nylon bushes and put them into the housing. And then um, I've got all the, the bolts I need for the rudder. So we should be able to assemble it, put it together and put it in there. And that's it. Another big job done. Okay, we'll see you next time. Take care.